Welcome back everybody, Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. I kind of want to do a, a follow-up from yesterday's uh, incident where uh, we had a criminal actually uh, threaten to kill me and my dog. And so anyway, uh, this is uh, uh, considered uh, street violence and so there's special help available for a lot of folks that are victims of crimes and where there was an actual arrest. So that's the qualifier right here where it qualified me for some programs. And so um, if you haven't been through domestic violence uh, 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 cases or uh, being a victim of domestic violence, uh, uh, this is what's going to happen. Police are going to take all the reports. You're going to identify the perpetrator if possible. Uh, there, uh, if there's an actual arrest, you'll be given an incident report like that, and it's going to tell you where to go get uh, the information. It's going that for the report because in many cases, uh, in the instance of domestic violence. Uh, the uh, uh, victim may want to actually uh, petition for a, a restraining order, and that restraining order could be served upon that uh, the, uh, the violent uh, one that's uh, incarcerated. It'll be served on them uh, prior to their release so that they're notified that they can't uh, go near that person uh, until the court hearing uh, takes place. And so, uh, Things like that can, are, are uh, available because you have immediate access to emergency shelter uh, uh, in, a, um, in a protective and a safe area, hopefully. Uh, and then also uh, services are made available. And then also there's agencies that will help you with housing. That's how I got uh, a voucher for uh, housing uh, way back before, just before I became homeless. Uh, unfortunately, that voucher was squandered through the system uh, on an Oakland notorious uh, slumlord. So, uh, but the programs are out there. And so anyway, what's going to happen? The police are going to do all of their investigative work. Uh, an arrest is made on the perpetrator. They're identified. And so they're off the streets. And so uh, you're now a victim and then in my case I'm a senior and so there's a lot of special things that uh, are available to me and this is the brochure that they handed me and as you can see uh, I didn't put the information on there because I haven't pulled the uh, police report yet it's going to take about uh, five to ten working days for that report to become available at the uh, 7th Street um, uh, Police Department and, and right now you have to make an appointment to uh, go and get that because uh, last time I was I walked by the police station uh, the doors and the lobby lights were all off and there's a sign that uh, instructs you to a telephone number to call to make an appointment for a visit. And so anyway, that's what's going on right now. I don't know it has, if it's been lifted since June, but uh, last time I was there, I was just in front of, uh, I was back there around May uh, dealing with uh, a previous issue. Uh, and so anyway, um, you're going to get one of these cards and then inside there's column for me and it's right there right there we're seniors 60 plus on 61 so I qualify so I'm going to give that number a call and see what kind of information they're going to offer me uh, and see if they're going to offer me um, uh, a room or shelter uh, voucher for an apartment because that's what they did the last time I got a voucher for an apartment and then um, 
it wasn't that much money, but uh, it covered you know the slumlord's fees, and uh, she still profited. So anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with that. But folks, if if you're uh, part a victim on street crime, uh, yesterday I had a, a, a gun pulled on me, and also the threat of death from an actual criminal who who literally moved in just a week ago uh, at his location and has been uh, stealing from my residence all up and down the uh, the block here and they have a crew that's working and then now uh, I've made the city of Oakland aware of this criminal pack and they're bringing cars here. This morning I go out, I see a stripped pickup truck down there now. And so Oakland needs to get uh, on the ball, start uh, patrolling this area like they said they would be doing, and then also taking this criminal element out. I've already pointed it out to city administrators and they have yet to respond. So anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, if you, like I said, if you're a victim, expect one of these uh, cards to be handed to you, and it has a lot of information for domestic violence victims, uh, rape, abuse, uh, child welfare, lots of information there. So uh, be sure you get that if you're a victim. And these are all valuable resources that uh, can get you into housing. Uh, away from danger and uh, I'm looking for housing and we'll see what uh, what kind of happens with the system now this has been a while since I last used this uh, this was you uh, utilized back in the 2013 and into the top of 2014 and that's when I became homeless right after the eviction from the slumlord so anyway thanks for joining me today we'll be right back